Hello, beautiful star seeds and light workers. It's Alexander Quinn, and I do hope you're well. I have been on the phone to and had messages from some of the biggest names in the spiritual and new age community about the comet Atlas. Many of them saying to me, but oh, Alexander Quinn, you of all people surely would know that this is an ET craft. It has interstellar consciousness. Surely you of all people would know that. Why are you calling it a comet? And this is my answer initially. I never guess when I'm doing energetic work. I always use my due diligence first. I never um, take chances. I like to know what I'm dealing with. And if I can't get the answer, then I will channel the answer. And that is precisely what I did yesterday. I went into deep channel and I connected the Arcturian collective consciousness. And I do have a definitive answer from them on not only where this vehicle came from, known as Atlas, where it's going, where it'll head up, what will happen to it, why it has already been in touch with us in the year 1977, what it's capable of, and the bigger picture surrounding it and the consciousnesses that are in and uh, um, uh, inside of it, but also located around it. So it, they gave me an incredibly detailed and definitive answer about this vehicle, shall we say. And I will put that channel messages out tomorrow in 24 hours, immediately tomorrow. However, just before we start going into the world of channeled messages and, and talking to ETs for answers. I just want to do a little bit of due diligence and look at, is this a comet or is this an interstellar object with consciousness? And just take a slightly more grounded approach with a little more due diligence before we start getting ahead of ourselves. What is really fascinating about Atlas is that it's coming in with a swarm of other comets, which is incredibly unusual. Atlas is traveling at about 60 kilometers per second, and it is showing some very unusual behaviors. It is only the third ever interstellar object of its nature that we have ever encountered within living memory. And it's not doing what other comets normally do. Let's just look at some of these interesting anomalies one, for one moment. It seems that it's rich in carbon dioxide, but surprisingly low in carbon monoxide, which continues to display incredibly exotic features that are unusual. It also seems to have a tail slightly in front of it. Uh, sparking speculation that it may have its own power source and it seems to have its own glow. Now, this object does have an in huge mass and an incredible gravity of its own because it will escape the sun's gravity and pass through our solar system, never to return. In fact, the Arcturians say that it'll become interdimensional and disappear completely from our reality. But what is really, really interesting about Atlas is that a lot of comets, especially other interstellar visitors that we have experienced before, as they begin to approach the sun, parts of them will warm up and they will interject spouts of energy, jets of energy that come off that can sometimes change its direction slightly. In this case, that is not happening. This comet is not taking any deviation in its path at all. It seems to have a, a totally guided path that is incredibly unusual. The other interesting fact is that these interstellar objects usually only really pass through, say, every 10,000 years. And we have had two other interstellar vehicles, shall we say, come through our solar system. So for this to come through so soon is incredibly, incredibly unusual also. Something that is also worth noting is how it's coming into the elliptic plane. Most objects are expected to enter at a steep or random angles. The two previous interstellar comets that uh, we previously experienced, both of those did. Atlas, however, is tilted at a five degrees relative to the elliptic plane. Uh, the chance of this are only 0.2%, so it's one in a 500% chance. But stranger still is that it seems to be coming in at an almost perfect alignment with the planets, almost as if it is probing them. So today it'll be passing past Mars 
and then it'll go past Jupiter, and it's almost like it is collecting information that is, as it is going past these planets, where no comet or interstellar object has ever behaved in that way before, ever. We're making it increasingly unusual. It also is exhibiting some very strange chemical oddities. Some of its composition is dominated by the CO2, but also some VLT data has suggested it's got an incredibly high nickel and very little iron content. Now, when you look at the chemical structures of most of these comets, that's incredibly unusual. And even more unusual is the way that its surface is interacting with water molecules as it's passing through, because water molecules are not working in the same way with its surface as it's passing through our solar system, which leaves people to believe that it's got a surface that is, shall we say, potentially manufactured in a way that we've never experienced before, or a material that is certainly not by any kind of design that a human might be able to manufacture with the consciousness that we have at this moment in time. So perhaps it is a material that is interstellar beyond our current knowing, or perhaps it is something that is manufactured intelligently that is behaving in a way that is extraordinary. What's going to happen is, is not, not long from now, this comet is actually going to pass behind the sun. And the Arcturian consciousness, the message that I'm going to put out tomorrow while speaking about, there is a reason for this from the Arcturian collective consciousness. And this may be a step too far for those who are scientists, but the Arcturian consciousness say that it will be its chance to refuel before it goes on to the Leo constellation. And for those who have watched my channel before, there is a video that I put out saying, this is what your governments are not telling you. And it looks like a picture of an egg with an embryo going towards it. And that was a huge mothership, an ET mothership that had docked next to the sun and was using the sun's energy as fuel before it went off interdimensionally into another place. And it is my understanding that Atlas will also do the same. And so whilst I've had a definitive understanding from the Arcturian consciousness yesterday that yes, this is an intelligent celestial, not galactic, but celestial craft, I first just want to detail that, yes, there are some anomalies on a scientific and chemical phys uh, uh, physics level. So on the, in regards to doing some basic due diligence, this is not behaving like a normal comet. So I am inclined to believe or, or within my own basis, outside of the Arcturian and collective consciousness, that yes, this may be an interstellar object that does have its own intelligence and is behaving in quantum ways that are extremely unusual. It's also going to bring about, in an interstellar way, an interconnected intercellular awakening. It is also a marker linked to Atlantean timeline cycle endings and conclusions. Because in the same month, exactly 10,500 years ago or so, Atlantis came to a crushing finish when a swarm of comets also with an interstellar object graced its skies, which then created enormous tidal waves that finished Atlantis off. Also in the month of October, when all of those hallowed souls were released from the earth, which is I believe why they call Halloween All Hallows Eve, which is actually, from my understanding from the collective consciousness, a throwback that goes back to Atlantean times when all of those comets, just like we have now in our own very skies, graced Earth before a destruction. Atlantis is a destroyer in its own way, but it also is an enhancer dependent on the energy in accordance to the consciousness of that planetary system. And the consciousness of our planetary system at this moment in time is such that Atlantis is going to become a marker of conclusionary timeline finishings, but also an enhancement of cellular rememberings and awakenings. 
And so it is a moment really now of incredible celebration. I will put out that definitive answer from the Arcturian consciousness tomorrow in 24 hours. I believe it is packed full of information and I will leave it up to you to decide if for you it is definitive enough, but I feel for me it is. So I will see you in 24 hours and God bless and keep looking up at the sky as Atlas passes Mars today or as you watch this video tomorrow if you are watching it yesterday.